Hello. Hi. Welcome back to Road to Freya Farm. Uh, in this video, we're going to do something a little different and tell you about the permaculture design principles and how we use them to create a very small cold frame for personal use um, near our camper. We're standing here in the hoop house on the property, and that's what you see behind you. Lots of greens. Yep. Um, so to get started, we're just going to kind of go through the list of permaculture design principles. Yeah, so observe and interact. Um, so we wanted to, or Dakota really wanted to make a cold frame to do all sorts of just little stuff, Snack vegetables. Snack on radishes, start some cucumbers, flowers Maybe for some around flowers. the farm. Um, so the first principle, observe and interact. We knew we wanted to make a cold frame, so we looked around. Dakota says, the sun rises over here. I say the road is right here. Um, we are just observing anything that we can think of, and it's just simple or complicated. Mm -hmm. um, we just built it out of things that were lying around. Yeah, we looked around to see what materials were at our hand. Um, we were touching lots of things, interacting with materials. Is this going to work here? Is this going to work here? Is this heavy enough? Light, lightweight enough? Um, the second permaculture design principle is the catch and store energy. Is that right? Yep. yep. And that is the idea of a cold frame, really. Yeah, it really is. So it's a metal, or not, it's a glass topper to a to a box raised bed, basically. Yeah. And what it does is... Um, it's perpendicular it, to the sun's angle mm -hmm. during the cold season, so it catches and stores energy. Bam, number two. Yeah. So the third principle... Is obtain a yield. Which is, we just want to eat some kale, you yep. know? We want to look at pretty flowers. That's yep. a yield. Exactly. Um, Beauty is certainly a yield. Yeah. Apply self-regulation and accept feedback. So for that principle, apply self-regulation and accept feedback. Um, I would say that we chose to do the cold frame in a very small scale. Yep. So maybe that kind of regulated I would say the the biggest one for that was um, our host was like, why are y'all going to plant a bunch of vegetables in this cold frame when you have 150 different vegetables that you're growing? And then I was like, oh, but what if we do flowers inside the cold frame? And I think that, that he got really excited about us doing flowers to yeah. just plant around. Um, so that was feedback and, um, and self-regulation. Use renewable resources. Use renewable resources. So aside from the panels of glass that we just repurposed from an abandoned house yep. last year, um, everything in the cold frame was made of just twigs, sticks, mud, mud um, and a scrap piece of carpet. Yeah. Um, so there's a few things that aren't necessarily renewable resources, but they're upcycled. Upcycled and most of everything else, literally we just found right around us and used. So. Uh, so that goes into produce no waste. Produce no waste. Mm, there we go. This we project... are taking waste and turning it into something functional. Yeah. Design from patterns to details. So a pattern of a cold frame, it catches sun's energy. And uh, one of the details of it that's interesting is, um, is it's a self-venting cold frame because it's just sticks and mud. So yeah. where the glass meets, it's lots of open spaces, so we don't have to worry about lifting up the glass and venting it all day. It just does it on its own. From pattern to detail, that's a really interesting permaculture design principle that I haven't really got a full grasp of yet. But I do kind of, like, we're standing here in a legit greenhouse, and I think a cold frame is a smaller version of that. And maybe that's somewhat to do with the... Yeah. macro to micro. Yeah. Uh, what's the next permaculture design principle is... Integrate rather than segregate. Integrate. Don't segregate. So why have a cold frame when you have 150 different market garden vegetables? Well, why not have a cold frame? Why not do it? Yeah, that's Let's... right next to our door. Yeah. And I would like to say that we already have a huge variety of plants in and around it. Um... So that's kind of integrating what we're growing inside. It's not just one flower or one vegetable. We've got all sorts of brassicas and flowers and possibly other stuff. Who knows? Um, number nine is use small and slow solutions, which we've already touched on. It's a very small cold frame. It's two, well, maybe three by four feet. 
Yeah, I think it's like six feet by three feet. And it took us probably 45 minutes to put together. Yeah. And it was our first little project that we did on our own here that was for us. And like, we didn't want to just jump in and say, we're going to build a permanent <laughs> box in the ground. We're going to build a 20 foot greenhouse now. <laughs> we're going to in. We're going to build a little tiny, small, we're going to start small. Um, my One of my favorite permaculture design principles, number 10, is use the edges or value the margins. Um, so in the cold frame, actually outside of the cold frame around the edges, we've already put plants that are cold hardy that don't necessarily need the benefits of the environment inside the cold frame. So we use the edges around. Yep, just right next door to it. Just right there. Um, number 11 is use and value diversity. We've got bees right in front of it. We've got, um, it's it's in wood chips. There's lots of different compost. So there's yeah. lots of uh, diverse we, microbiology, yeah. insects, and all the plants that are in there. We might have two of a certain plant, but it's a lot of different plants that we mm -hmm. have growing in and around the cold frame. Yeah. Um, and finally, the last permaculture design principle is creatively use and respond to change. Yep, so, and creatively use in that regard, we looked around, saw what we could put together, and we slapped this thing together quick. Yeah, and um, hopefully something's gonna go wrong with it, and maybe we can adapt and uh, add, add something or subtract something from the equation to make it work better. Um, once I know something that's going to happen, it's going to get warmer out and then we're not going to necessarily need the um, glass panels on top yep. and we're going to value and adapt that change by just removing the panels and still having a garden bed to use yeah. in the place. So thanks for watching. Please Thank you very much. Um, subscribe and email us. Give us a call. Text us and uh, send us a hippopotamus in the mail. Thanks yeah. guys. Love you. Bye.